Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss compose action in logic app. So using compose action, we can create a single output like a complex JSON object by combining multiple inputs from various data sources and the inputs, they can be strings, numbers, arrays, etc. And now let's actually see it in action. So guys, we are in Azure and let's create new logic app. I will say add. Let's select hosting plan as multi-tenant. Let's select resource group. Now let's give name to our logic app. So I will say logic app compose action. Here let's say review plus create. And then create. And now let's open our logic app. logic app designer and now guys let's add this as a scheduled trigger and let's say it will execute every five minutes so let's say add a trigger and here i will say recurrence let's select this scheduled trigger And here I will say five minutes and let's collapse. Now guys, let's keep it simple in this demo and let's create a simple JSON object by combining two inputs. Okay, so here, so here let's say add a new step that is let's add an action. And guys, for two inputs, I will create two variables. So here let's say variables and here let's select this initialize variable. And I will give name as first name and it will be string and I will provide value as Harshal Kumar. Let's collapse it. Similarly, let's initialize another variable. Again, add an action here variable initialize variable. It will be last name again it will be string and value will be j so guys we have two inputs available and now let's use compose action to create a json object which will contain two properties that is first name and last name so again add action here i will say compose Let's select this compose action. And now is this is important. See inputs. So here we need to provide the structure of our JSON object which we want to create. Right. So here I will say first name and first name. We want to fetch it from variable right so here let's select so here let's click on it and let's select variable that is first name then comma last name and again let's select it from variable so basically that's it guys again we are keeping it really simple I just want you to understand the concept of compose action. So again, using compose action, we can create complex JSON objects, right? And now let's collapse it. Now is how we will verify the output, right? So here, add action and let's try to write that output to a blob. So here I'll say blob, create blob. Let's select blob account, then container within a blob. And here let's give name to our blob. So JSON object and this is important that is blob content. So we want to retrieve the blob content from our compose action, right? So here let's click on it. 
and can you say this compose and we want to use the output from this compose action as the contents of blob so let's select this outputs and let's collapse and now let's save and for the first time this logic app must have been executed so let's go to this run history yes it shows successful and let's cross check in our storage account so again we are in this my container in this storage account here i will say refresh so yes i can see this json object so let's click on it let's click on edit and yes we can see that json